seven easy steps background text player image highlights logos overlays and color correction in order to create this awesome game day edit within adobe photoshop all right let's get into this poster design first create your canvas you're going to hit file new and then copy these exact settings on the right side of your screen next take your rectangle tool and drag it across your canvas we will next change the color of our rectangle by hitting the fill button and then selecting the color black the background design is very unique, so first place your team's logo into the canvas, decrease the opacity to around 2%. It's gonna look like there's nothing there, but just stick with me. I will show you guys why we're doing this in just a minute. Next, drag in your texture into the graphic. I'll put a link to this overlay in the description, and we're gonna put this overlay on the blend mode divide. Step two is the game day text. Yes, it is just six text layers, but there is a quicker way to do this than just writing out game day six times, and let me show you how. So first create your initial game day text layer. If you wanna change the colors of your words, all you have to do is highlight your text and then select this color panel, but I'm gonna keep it red. You can then change the color to whatever you choose. Let's now duplicate our layer by pressing Command J. Then you can drag it below your first layer. If you select a group of layers by pressing Command and then clicking on the layers you want, you can duplicate all the layers by again pressing Command J. Step three, Put in whatever logos that you want, but most importantly, you have to change the color of these logos to match the game day text, so watch this very closely. Insert your logos, go up to Image, Adjustments, and then invert it so you have a white logo layer. Next, go up to Image, Adjustments, and then Hue and Saturation. If you hit Colorize, Photoshop allows you to change the color of your sports team's logo by moving these two sliders. The most important part of this design is the text. The two font types that we're gonna be using within this design is Dr. Glitch and Rhino's Rocks. In this next part, we're gonna learn how to take this picture, add sharpening and effects to it, and turn it into this. First, insert your image. Go up to Filter and then Sharpen. Duplicate your layer by pressing Command J. With your top layer selected, go to Filter, Other, and then High Pass Filter. We're going to switch the blend mode to Hard Light. Alright, we're going to zoom in here, and then you can see the before and then the after of the High Pass Filter effect. Press Command and click both layers and convert them into one singular smart object. Go up to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, increase your contrast, decrease your blacks, Increase texture and add back some vibrance. These are a couple quick adjustments within Camera Raw Filter. We're going to make a couple more adjustments later on, but for now, this is okay. If you look closely around the jersey, you have this green area caused by adding back on the texture. And in order to get rid of this, it's really, really simple. So click inside of your mask of the filter, and then with your black paintbrush selected, erase those parts of your sharpening. I usually put my hardness up on my brush and then I just paint right back over where those green spots are. Now let's add a new adjustment layer, click black and white, and then adjust the blend mode to soft light. You also want this effect to only be on the player image, so hit this button to create a clipping mask. What makes this design stick out is this overlay. If you put this plastic texture on Lighten as a blend mode, it creates an awesome design within Photoshop. Hold down Shift, Alt, and Command E to create a merged layer of your entire graphic design. Go up to Camera Raw Filter and add contrast, clarity, and a lot of vibrance. Also, it is important to add a black vignette around the outside. I also really like to add grain within this type of design, you can see the dramatic difference in the before and the after of this camera raw filter. Step seven is where you go to a whole different level within this design. Add a color lookup of two strip. Essentially what two strip does is it takes the blues within your photo and makes it gray. We're also going to create a black and white adjustment layer. Press command I to invert the mask. Then with the white brush selected, paint back on the black and white only to the player skin. 
If you guys are enjoying today's video, drop a like for me so I know to keep making videos just like this one. And make sure you guys are subs so you don't miss any of the future giveaways. All right, let's add a curves adjustment layer. Take this black slider and move it to the right in order to darken our background. Also, if you look at the background, you can see that there's a slight red tint in some of the plastic textures. This can be done by creating a gradient map. And for the left color spot, choose your main color of your graphic design. For me in this design, it's red. For the right color, choose black and then press OK. We then want to change the blend mode to darker color. This gives you this cool looking design here, but then we're gonna press Command I to invert the mask. And then we're gonna paint back on this red and black gradient with our white paintbrush. If you guys have any questions about this or any parts of the video, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you right away. This is the before and here's the after. The final touch to this design is adding a glow over your player. Add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer, then increase the brightness. We're gonna do the same process as we did before where we press Command I and then paint back on where we want this effect to be. You can then reduce the opacity to wherever you think looks about right. And once you've done that, you're finished with this Photoshop poster design. If you wanna check out some of my other game day edits and designs, click here. Thanks for watching and have a good one.